I'll tell you that open a door it gives you uh, self confidence and empowers you as a woman. Because as you meet open a door uh, women and girls when they're networking, when they have events, you feel like women can really do something great. Women can be CEOs, women can be uh, social advocates, women can be everything, scientists, everything. Something else is that um, having a mentor, it's something special about Open a Door. Having a mentor, it, it encourages you to go through the whole process. It's like a family to you. Every time you go through uh, hard times, you can call her and she's gonna be there for you. She's gonna be like your mom. My name is Simin Wahdat and uh, I was the first uh, Open a Door graduate. I graduated in uh, 2011. Right now, I'm in a very good position, like academic-wise, social, and also like um, career-wise. It's all because of the network, the connections, that if I want to do something, I contact Athena, and I, I, I just uh, share with her that what I, um, what I want to do, and then she introduced me to the, the person, the, the people that she knows. And through that network, I really get the support that I'm looking for. Yes, I'm Patricia Wasi. Open a door profoundly changed my life <laughs> because um, I actually learned a lot from them, Christine and Stephanie, my mentors, and it helped me uh, achieve my dream, which was to come here to school and get a quality education. The transition has been really smooth for me. I compare myself to other African students on campus and I'm the luckiest. Yeah, I'm in good hands. <laughs> So my name is Athena Katsaros, and I'm a co-founder of Open a Door with Barbara Bailenga. And I'm a mentor now for Malika Gafour, who's our only student this year from Afghanistan. It gives me the opportunity to have a really talented, bright, playful, delightful young woman in my life. And I, I just love that. She's like, um, she's becoming a member of my family. My name is Susan Babazi and I'm the program director here in Rwanda. I would relate it to a Rwandan um, proverb that says a kid is brought up by a village. For them, having an opportunity to have six mentors, that you can't, you can't get that anywhere else, especially when you, if you're going in an, a foreign country. Conceiving of and bringing to life Open a Door has changed my life. It has allowed me to tap into what I really think is a personal passion and has allowed me to feel like I'm part of something bigger than myself and that really is changing lives and changing nations. My name's Louise Trudeau and my job at Open a Door is to be the essay coach. So I haven't directly interacted with the, most of the students over the years, but I have mentored the mentors. So the mentors learn how to work with their students on writing essays and helping them improve their English. And then when they get stuck, they call me. And so I consider all the girls at Open a, Open a Door my girls. Someone said before I left here to come to Rwanda this trip, um, it's so nice the charity work that you're doing. And this is not charity work at all. This is my chance to get involved and make a difference. So I love it. Patrizzi. Two years ago today, we were researching engineering programs. Today, you're in your final year of your master's degree. You got straight A's last semester. And you have an awesome internship at the San Francisco County Transportation Authority. It's amazing. Christine, there is a word in Kenya, Rwanda, um, that goes in Horamutima and it means a person that rocks your life. And literally it means uh, somebody that touches your heart. Christine, uh, that's how I feel about you. Um, thank you for all the support. And I can't imagine uh, being here without uh, her as my guide. Um, she's made a difference in my life and I just you know, feel so grateful to her for that and to all the mentors. So if you want to rock, uh, to be a person that rocks uh, one's life to tonight, <laughs> please join Christine and the other mentors too and say, Ingora Mutima.